Our cooperation has grown deeper and strengthened over the many years. We have concluded successful deliberations with His Excellency President Chakwera and his delegation in which we reviewed our bilateral cooperation and expressed satisfaction with the ever-expanding ties between our two countries. We noted the expiry of the instrument of cooperation, the Joint Commission for Cooperation, which is the mechanism for bilateral engagements between our two countries. And we expressed our wish that uh, we should elevate the mechanism to ministerial level. We noted also the existence of 15 agreements and memoranda of understanding between our two countries covering a wide range of areas that affect the lives of our people. We have empathized, emphasized the need to implement all the agreements that exist between our two countries and we also emphasized the need for these agreements to transform the lives of our peoples when it comes to addressing the challenges that our two nations are grappling with, unemployment, poverty and inequality. Economic cooperation between the two countries continues to grow steadily as demonstrated by the large number of South African companies that are operating in Malawi. The purpose of my visit was to consolidate the cordial bilateral relations which happily exist between Malawi and the Republic of South Africa. You are aware that our countries have long-standing fraternal relations and South Africa is a host to many Malawians. Being a new president of the Republic Republic of Malawi, I had to, no choice but to come to meet my partner to learn from his good practices in political governance and enhance my own knowledge toward the same. Malawi cherishes the excellent manner in which His Excellency President Ramaphosa has been chairing the African Union. I have pledged Malawi's unwavering support to South Africa in international fora, such as the UN Security Council, where South Africa holds a non-permanent seat. Obviously, I will also need South Africa's support as Malawi assumes chairmanship of the SADC next year, where we will share leadership as Republic of South Africa will also assume chairmanship of the SADC organ on politics, defense, and security.